for the classification of elements uh, on periodic table periodic properties. Actually, I have seen the ionization potential or ionization enthalpy. One more term is the electron gain enthalpy. Earlier we used to call it as electron affinity. That is again uh, the same gases atom we have to take. Gases atom, if you are adding electron, the energy released or gain is nothing but the electron gain enthalpy. That is X minus gas. This is electron affinity, how much is this? If you see in the um, period from lithium to fluorine, it will go on, energy will be more and more released. So, lithium is uh, compared to lithium, then uh, we will go on with the beryllium. And, but whereas if you come to the helium, it is already fully filled. So, adding a one more electron will give us the repulsion and the instability and all also electron gain enthalpy will be normally positive for all of these things will be the negative. This is in the period. If it is in the group, yes, it will uh, come down, come down the electron gain affinity that means minus value will come down, normally it will be represented in the mains. So, that is about the electron gain enthalpy. Uh, there is one or two exceptions uh, like uh, suppose if you see in the periodic table, Mm, oxygen and fluorine and all. See, they are in the same electron uh, p orbitals only it is going. So, there will be a repulsion between the oxygen, between electrons in oxygen and fluorine. So, normally the fluorine, oxygen, electron gain enthalpy, that is electron affinity will be the lesser. Just simple if you see the phosphorus, sulfur, um, chlorine and fluorine, these four elements you take, uh, more uh, electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy if you see, the phosphorus will be the high, and then uh, the compared to the, because this are the, the same p, um, p electrons will be there, this is the least, the least last but one, then this one. So, least negative electron again with the phosphorus uh, and uh, the fluorine will be the, the other other way. So, that will be the electron about the electron affinity and the values are the fixed values which it will be measurable and uh, by experiment and all. One more term is called electronegativity. Electronegativity. Actually, this is uh, the how much it is uh, the uh, ability to form a chemical compound or attracting the electrons is or sharing electrons that will be represented by this electron activity. Actually, it is not an experimental value. Uh, the, there is an arbitrary value given for the hydrogen. Hydrogen value is given as a 2.1, whereas the other units are all the here the electron uh, energy units. That is the innovation potential or the electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy, all that are, are the kilojoules or joules or whatever it is. Here it is a, an arbitrary value. For hydrogen, Pauling uh, polling, uh, has given the value as hydrogen as a 2.1. Based on that, the relative values were given for the all other elements you know, for around 60 values and all. Highest value is given for the fluorine. Fluorine is around 4 electronegative value. If you see again, the same trend will follow that is from the, in the period from left to right, the electronegative will increase. We are not going to touch the zero group or the this um, trend. In a um, group from lithium, lithium to lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, it will come down, the values will come down, electronegative values uh, from 1. 2.7. Similarly, from lithium to the fluorine, it will go to of up to 4. So, it is trend is same, uh, the electronegativity trend, but electronegativity, because of this, you will come to know the which one you will give, you take the more, uh, um, this one. Interestingly, uh, you see uh, how one more peculiar example. Peculiar example is oxygen dichloride you take, 
and sodium oxide dry sodium oxide sodium oxide you take these two examples <laughs> In, in the valency and oxidation states, valency and oxidation states. Say in the uh, all lithium sodium is all uh, one is groups, so valency will be the one. Uh, if the um, cap next uh, is a uh, second um, group, if you take uh, the beryllium and all, they will have the two valencies, candium and all these things. If you have boron, if it will be three carbon will be 4, nitrogen interestingly 8 minus it have to go, so it will be 3, then 2, then 1, value 6, that is the normal this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rarely it is there, but it will be again go back to 3, 2, 1, that is for the nitrogen oxygen 4, that will be the normally valency, uh, it will be, but interestingly very few cases any abnormalities will be there. You see the, these two compounds, oxygen difluoride and the sodium from oxide. Here, because of the high electronegativity or whatever it is, the fluorine is equal to the minus 1, minus 1 means it is minus 2, that means oxygen is a plus 2. Fluorine is minus 1, minus 1 into 2, it is minus Charge information I have taken. Otherwise, fluorine is minus 1, minus 1 into 2. Here, Sodium is a plus 1, so it is a plus 2, plus 1 into 2, and here it is minus 2. That means in these two compounds, so, so contrary, oxygen is plus 2 here, here it is a minus 2. So, such type of uh, these things will be there. Uh, so, one should be more careful. It depends upon the compound, it depends upon the where it is mixed, and all these things. Suppose lithium hydride, here it is a minus 1, it is a plus 1. So, sodium also like that only, sodium hydride or the potassium hydride and all. Calcium you see, calcium hydride, it is a minus 1, that is a, it is a plus 2. So, if you see the boron B2H6, plus 3, minus 1, and similarly aluminum hydride, aluminum hydride is L, um, H3, it is minus 1, plus 3, it, all everything is accepted. So, ammonia again NH3, so if you see the nitrogen group NH3 uh, minus 1 plus 3 and all. If you see H2O, here it is reverse. Oxygen is minus 2, this is the plus 1. Okay. Similarly, HF minus 1 plus 1. So, electronegativity is the main one where the 2.1 is for hydrogen, then it will go the up to the 4 is the for the chlorine and all. Mm -hmm. Similarly, all other compounds like the lithium oxide and all, very few will be the this thing. So, if you see the metallic properties and uh, the Atomic radius, they will follow the same uh, trend and all. So, when you are coming to the actual problem, you will come to know the how the oxidation states or valencies will be has to be given, or the what is the coordination bond and what is the ionic bond, how the sharing of the electrons and how the S group or P group will be there. Uh, what is the chemical reactivity of the each compound um, this thing uh, so suppose if you see the atomic area how it will vary or the so most important one you have to do the IP uh, affinity electron affinity electronegativity and the, how ionic area is increasing or decreasing in the period and in the group. From that everything you can uh, read, uh, read, miss, uh, you can take it out and uh, write what is the actually required. Okay, but uh, sometimes there will be some small small uh, exceptions. So ionization potential values are because of the because of the 
screen screen is uh, the electrons are coming in the way to the nucleus attraction so there will be some small small changes so tomorrow we will see some problems and some typical questions and all okay thank you